The quotient map is a canonical linear map that uh, accomplishes the modding out of a particular subspace or the quotienting out by a particular subspace. So for a subspace U of V, the quotient map Uh, and so this goes from V to V mod U. Is the linear map defined by pi of V is sent to V plus U. And so you can see that this is going to be a surjective map. Um, however, it's not going to be injective uh, if U is a, a non-trivial subspace, because any, any elements of U are going to get identified under the quotient map. And so by identified, I mean mapped to the same point. Uh, so theorem 389 says that if we have a finite dimensional vector space uh, with a subspace U, then the dimension of V mod U, uh, oh, and I ran out of space. is the difference dimension v minus dimension u okay and so the proof of this one is that if we um if you recall from clip um e3 sorry 3e.3 um u or zero plus u is the uh, identity in the quotient space. Okay, <clears throat> so that's the uh, the null space of of pi. So. Note that pi is surjective since for uh, any v plus u in the quotient space, um, v plus u is the image of v. And so since it's surjective, v mod u is the range of pi. So then if we use the good old rank nullity theorem, which has sure been getting a workout recently, um, <coughs> it gives that the dimension of V is going to be the uh, dimension of the range of pi Um, plus the dimension of the uh, null space of pi, which is u. And so by subtracting dimension u to the other side, we have our result. <laughs>